What's up guys, Stefan here, and in today's video we're going to be doing a Cyberpunk 2077 review. So to start it off, is Cyberpunk the game that it was hyped up to be? No, but it is still worth playing, and here's why. Now just so everyone knows, I have played the Cyberpunk game fully, I've done all the side missions and done all the main story missions. You also have a couple of missions like uh, go do these crimes, go do these gigs, etc. Now I have basically done everything like that there. Okay, I've put about 70 hours into the game, the last time I checked was like 71 hours. So I've put 70 hours plus into the game. So I know what I'm talking about here when I have to say about this review. And I have also played it on the Xbox One base model. So the very first Xbox One that was released, this is what I have currently played it on. So to start this off, we're going to do some pros and cons. So some of the pros of this game are the excellent voice acting, uh, the tons of things to do, so your main story missions, your side missions, you have gigs, you can go buy cars, um, you have your skill trees, you have your body upgrades, you also have the types of looting and collecting stuff that you can do, um, you also have romance options, so we'll do a brief description on each one of these then. So to do with the voice acting, so because you have tons of story missions, tons of side missions, you even have like people on the street talking to you, like there is tons of like actors or voice actors that they have got to do different voices in this game. And I don't mean just like your main five characters that you'll always see, you will literally have side missions of tons of characters that will come up and talk to you if that's like through phoning you, through actually meeting them in person in the game, talking to you, they'll send you even text messages, like you can reply back to text messages and all in this game, like there is so much dialogue that like it's so hard to get through everything and it will either literally keep you entertained for so many hours, like going back, like talking to people on the phone, like what way you actually want to send them a message, because normally you would get like two options, you choose like what type of way you want to reply to them, like it's so good in that way and like the only way you can experience it is if you have the game and choose whatever way you want to play it. So my next pro is the amount of stuff that you can do in the game. So you have your main story. After your main story, you can still do all your side missions. You've also got cyber psychos. You've got your gigs, your assaults. You can go buy cars. You have like collecting graffiti that's all placed around the city. You have collecting all your iconic weapons. So in your house that you get to get away apartment, on the wall, you have like outlines of where weapons would go. Like you can literally collect weapons in the game. If it says iconic on it, it will go onto that wall. And there, there's another thing to collect. Like there's so much to do in this game that you will literally be on this game for like 100 hours plus if you want to fully do everything, collect everything. Obviously myself I haven't collected every iconic weapon but like it will be something I want to do and with all the new DLC that they do have planned to come out like I'll go into that later on in the video like there is tons of hours to be put into this like it isn't just like £50 game that you're going to play and not use a game it's a game that you're going to keep coming back to with the amount of stuff that they said that you're going to have so another pro of this game is the skill tree your skill tree is absolutely massive in this game depending on what way you want to play so you could say upgrade your body upgrade your like um, physicalness upgrade like your reflexes like you choose what way you want to play and then within them like you can upgrade like even if I choose the body you can upgrade your athletics where you can get more health where you can sprint faster uh, regain health faster that their type of stuff also within the body you have like it's called the uh, annihilation which is basically if you use shotguns like myself I like my shotguns you could choose like get better criticals of shotguns reduce the hip fire uh, increase the reload speed like stuff like that there like so if I like shotguns I can play that their way and um, you also have the street brawlers where if you want to use uh, blunt weapons you can fully upgrade it where to do more damage each time if you want to use your fist if you want to use snipers handguns even if you want to be completely sneaky and not like use anything just use your fist you can upgrade everything fully like there's so many ways that you want to upgrade but to do this you need to put a lot of time into like doing side missions you can't just do the main story and expect to get all your uh, level ups and upgrades you can't do that you need to put time into doing the side missions so next big pro in this game is the looting and collecting you can literally loot and collect everything in the game so when you kill a body and um, they will drop clothes they will drop health perks they will drop consumables they will drop their weapons they even drop like ammo mods crafting mods crafting materials they will drop uh, we wear things that like body attachments that you can put on to yourself like there's so many upgrades in the way of looting and collecting like you also have a thing called like your body that you upgrade through cyber ram 
and like when you collect stuff you can upgrade them you go to a ripper dock they give you better upgrades you might find a common version of it then you might find a rare version epic version legendary iconic like there are so many collecting things that you want to do in the game and by far like if you see in my playthroughs you'll see that i am collecting like legendary stuff and iconic stuff and they're so much better and there's so much more like range of activities that you can do by collecting them like even one of your body upgrades that you can do you can choose to have mantis blades coming out of your arm so you can literally have an extra weapon which is like a bladed weapon which is you just jump in the base and start slicing them up someone up or as i have and it's, as you've seen when i'm playing the game i put on like a rocket launcher and i basically i felt like iron man where i had like a rocket coming out of my hand like it was basically like a grenade but only as a rock repel grenade coming out of my hand and i was thinking like it was iron man like there's so much collecting and looting that you can do in this game like you'll have fun for hours even customizing your character you can customize what they wear in their head like glasses face masks you have trousers shoes boots high tops you name it t-shirts like there's so much things to collect like there's endless basically possibilities of what way you want to look in this game now another pro that I liked in this game is that you can have romance options, so depending on if you choose a male or female character at the start you'll be able to romance different people. So in my game I was able to romance uh, Pan Am, as you see in my playthrough I don't really want to spoil anything, but basically you can choose to romance her or not romance her, you'll have different options, uh, she will also choose to help you in different fights etc, like you'll also get a whole different like story based around if you choose like different things for her so if you go one way with her like choose to say this but then choose to say something else like there's different possibilities to where different missions end and start depending on if you choose to romance her or not romance her so i think if you choose to be a female you can actually uh, romance with another person uh, which is a girl called judy and it's a guy i haven't played so i wouldn't know uh, what it's like to romance with her but it's probably the exact same we many missions that you'll be doing like go to this go to that that you can like get a whole different side story of her there's also a person called river you do some uh, side missions with him and there's also the romance option there you can choose to go with him or not go with him do different stuff blah 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 so that's what i really like in this game where you don't see it in any other game so it's it's a pro i would say now there are tons more pros that i would say that there is in this game and i want to make this video short and sweet so i don't want to keep going into a whole lot of stuff i want to get into the cons now so one of the biggest cons that you will notice in this game if you start playing especially on like the base gem models what i have is poppins so every so often you'll be driving around and some of your buildings might, might not have fully popped in yet like they might not have fully rendered or like if you're driving down the street or even running you'll literally see characters popping in in front of you within like 20 meters of you they'll just pop on screen and you get more people you might turn around and turn back again and they've all disappeared the game is just trying to get as much stuff into the frames as possible that different things are popping in and out you'll also see in some missions when you go to some different buildings you pull up it might take about five to ten seconds and then the buildings lights and all might come on you might see people on the windows where when you came up it was literally just a big blur now you will overlook this like it's nothing major to be fair like i actually find it funny you'll see if I'm, when i'm playing through my games like you'll actually find it funny oh there's an orc character hasn't popped in oh now they've popped in like it's fun like it's not major whatsoever now the next wee issue i would say is the game crashes now you might see a whole lot of thing on a whole lot of other different like youtube channels saying the game crashes the game crashes like it always constantly crashes well i have put as i said probably about 70 hours plus into this game and i will say that my game has probably only crashed about 10 times now considering if you have put 70 hours in say it's about 12 hours every 12 hours you might get one crash that is okay like your xbox especially base xbox has been on for so long overheating etc like you probably expect it to crash like you don't want things to crash that's why you always save but that like to me it's like oh games crashed but it's not for major because it isn't frequent it isn't like it's every hour it's not like it's every half an hour like it's enough time in between them to be like oh that's understandable it's not too bad so all i would say is always remember to save but to be honest you will actually overlook this as well like say that you aren't even playing the game as long as why I was playing, like I might have been playing four, five, six, seven hours straight sometimes. I might not even got a crash, might have only got crashed maybe if I was playing longer. Like you might not even get any crashes when you're playing it depending on how long you're playing. Now another big con is basically what you've seen in the trailers. And in some of the trailers you might have seen like you actually seen V as like in third person, you've seen what it looked like. 
like we were all sort of hyped up to be like oh we could see our characters third person you can maybe play in third person you can't do any of that the only time you will ever see your character is when you're on the editing screen to change your outfit what you're wearing that's the only time you will ever see your character there's only one more time that you will see your character in the game in third person fully in a cinematic and that's at the very end of the game that's the only time you will ever see your character in third person and depending on what way you go like uh, whatever path you choose to take i'm not going to spoil anything that's the only time you will see your person is at the very end of the game now you've only got about two cons left that are fully major the first one is the driving mechanics now when you first get into your car if you're driving in first person it's going to be very awkward to see it's like you're too low for the steering wheel and the sea out over you can't even see the road it's very hard to drive in first person now when you go to third person it's so easy to drive but then again it depends what car you're in to to see what way your handling is off the car so it might be really hard to turn corners it might be really sharp or it might be really slow to be honest the slower you turn corners the better because like in some of the cars that you go you just fly straight into walls fly straight into barriers it's not fun whatsoever and then my last con which is the major one for me is if you commit a crime so when you commit a crime the police will literally show up out of nowhere you kill say the two or three police officers show up bang you get like a nowhere literally about five or six to just pop in and start shooting you it's not like gta where you get like a a four or five star rating um to start coming after you and you can run away from them these police officers will literally show up right in front of you even drones even like we robots show up in front of you and start shooting you now if you get in a car and start running away start driving away yes they'll all disappear but i don't like the way they just pop in straight away and start shooting you like it's not fun whatsoever trying to commit a crime because like you just get bombarded with everyone like if you want a chase you'll not get a chase to sum it up now i've basically went over basically all the cons of this game for me now as as i said i've played so much of this game that it doesn't bother me whatsoever i've completed the game and i have enjoyed the game like if you're if you're a big gamer and you think the game of Peter's to you bad i would even re recommend people ban it and it doesn't matter if you're on a new xbox if you're on a pc if you're on the old xboxes playstations whatsoever the game is still playable it's not like you're getting constant crashes flat out i'd recommend ban it even if you know that you're going to get the new xbox even bad play maybe a couple missions if you aren't enjoying it you can literally wait for the updates there are updates coming out i'll put some updates on screen like they said that there's going to be dlc pa uh, dlc's coming out uh, i think there's two dlc's fully this year they're also pulling out patches there's a patch coming out this month and a patch coming out next month to basically resolve everything and like make the games run smoother so it is worth buying the games are good and i would recommend you buy the game and play it if i had to give the game a rating i'd have said 10 i would probably give it an 8.5 and the only things to, to fully bring it down for me if it was to not get a 10 would probably be the driving mechanics the way the police officers and all handle with the ai and then the constant wee crashes that you have but as i said they're nothing major even though we pop in like they will most likely all be sorted with the new patches but i would recommend buying this game if you can if you're not uh, like focused on buying it, if you're still unsure i'd even recommend when it's on sale buy it straight away because if you're getting free dlc with it like there's so much to do then and as i said like i've put about 70 hours into it there's so much to do like you even might find more stuff so guys if you enjoyed this wee review remember to leave me a wee like subscribe even check out the whole walkthrough that i did off it and stay tuned for more videos and some more review videos so thanks again for watching